All right, in this video, we will discuss a short section, 10-7, um, on the areas of circles and sectors. Okay, we'll talk about sectors, um, both how to label them and how to find their area. Okay, by the end of this video, you should be able to know how to label a sector and also to find the area of a sector. Okay, and now remember that the area of a circle is the product of pi and the square of the radius. In other words, the area is pi r squared. Okay. What is the area of the circle? Now we're going to give the area of the circle in terms of pi. So um, the area is pi r squared, and the radius is 4 inches. So it's pi times 4 squared. And leaving it in terms of pi, 4 squared is 16. So it's 16 pi inches squared. Okay, And the units is inches squared because we're dealing with an area. Okay, now an important question. Um, that we'll get more into later on in the lesson is what is the area of one fourth of this circle? So if I take one fourth of the circle, I want to know this area, okay, it would just be one fourth of the area of the entire circle. So I take one fourth times um, the area of the circle, 16 pi, and one fourth of 16 is 4 pi. Um, inches squared. Okay, um, the next question, what's the area of one-sixth of the area? So instead of one-fourth, if we're going to deal with one-sixth of um, the circle, it'll be again one-sixth times the area of the circle, 16 pi, and I get um, eight-thirds pi inches squared. Okay, now we're doing a really important thing. We're taking a fraction of the whole circle and multiplying by the area of the circle, and that's giving us the area of the piece of our circle. Okay? Now, the, that piece that we're dealing with, that, that pizza slice looking shape, is called the sector of a circle. Okay, it's bounded by an arc of the circle and two radii at the arcs and points. Okay, it's called a sector. And you name the sector by using um, one arc endpoint, the center of the circle, and the other endpoint. It re reminds me a lot of, a, of an angle. You do the endpoint, middle, other endpoint. Um, so this is sector RPS. Okay. Um, now, alluding to what we talked about before with the fraction times the area of the circle leads us into the formula for finding the area of a sector. Um, this first part is the fraction of the circle okay that we're going to find the the area of so so the fraction of the circle that the sector is and this is the formula uh, for the area of a circle Okay. Now this formula reminds me a lot of the um, arc length formula, where you have a fraction of the circle times the circumference. The only difference now is that um, instead of multiplying by the circumference, we're multiplying by the area of the circle. Okay, two examples. Um, this sector has an angle of um, 72 degrees. So 72 out of 360 is the fraction of the whole circle that my sector is. And I multiply that times the area of the circle, pi times the radius squared. OK, now to leave my answer in terms of pi, I will multiply everything but kind of leave out pi. So I'll take 72 divided by 360 times 15 squared. OK, and I get 45. And so this is equal to 45 pi and then don't forget the units, centimeters squared. So if you take the area of a sector and you subtract the area of a triangle, which we can find of base times height, uh, then we'll find the area of the segment. Just so you can see it all in one picture. If I take this sector, and I, this is the segment, I can find this area using 1 half base times height. And if I subtract that away, I'm left with just this part, okay, which is um, the area of a segment. Okay, so one example to kind of give you a heads up is is finding the the area of this region. 
Okay, so we will first find the area of the sector. Okay, we'll subtract the area of the triangle. Okay, and that'll give us um, that segment area right there. Okay, now the area of the sector we know to be the central angle out of 360 times the area of the circle, pi times 18 squared. Now, since they asked me to round my answer to the nearest tenth, they're not asking for it in terms of pi. So I'm going to plug in everything, including the pi. So 60 divided by 360 times pi times 18 squared is 169.65 um, inches squared. Okay. Now, to find the area of this triangle, um, I will point out, first of all, that this is an isosceles triangle, that these two lengths are both radii, and therefore it's an isosceles triangle, and these will always be isosceles triangle. Now, they won't always be 60 degrees. So the way I'm going to go about this may not make, not maybe the easiest for this problem, but it'll work in every problem like this. Okay? I will draw in an altitude that's going this way. Now, I know that might seem kind of weird to go that way, but um, I'm cutting the isosceles triangle in half because that will always create an altitude. Okay, so since it is an isos sorry, an, an equilateral triangle, um, this length down here is going to be 18. Okay, because it's an equilateral triangle, all the sides are the same length. Okay, and um, this length over here it's going to be 9, and using the fact that this is a special right triangle, okay, this is 9, the longer leg will be 9 root 3. Okay, if you didn't get that, you can use trigonometry um, and use some angles of 30 or 60 um, and, and use the tangent ratio to find that length, but you'll get um, 9 root 3. Okay, so in the triangle, the area is 1 half, the base, which is 18, times the height, which is 9 root 3. Okay, so 1 half times 18 times 9 root 3 is 140.30. Um, okay, so if I subtract these, 169.65 minus 140.3 I get 29.35 um, inches squared. Okay, and that's the area of this this piece in here. Okay, again, it's not a simple question. Um, I would consider it more of a mastery level question, but just to give you a heads up for the homework. Okay, um, this section we talked about sectors, how to label them, how to find the areas. I hope that by now you know how to label a sector um, and also how to find the area of a sector.